Hi, I'm Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, here with one of Apple's oddest products, the Apple Polishing Cloth. This is a $19 soft cloth that is used to polish the grease off of electronics. Now, you are probably wondering, a $19 soft cloth? Don't these things come for free? And yes, they usually do. We get these soft cloths everywhere. This one's from an eyeglass place. So Apple's $19 soft cloth has to be really different. Now, one thing to understand about this is its genesis. This cloth comes from a different idea than most other soft cloths. Apple sells a $5,000 monitor. You probably don't own it. But the $5,000 monitor has a matte coating on it that Apple calls a nanotexture. This cloth is sold with the $5,000 monitor, specifically so you can wipe off the nano texture without, I guess, smoothing it out or abrading it. Replacement cloths cost $19, and then Apple, I guess, realized that they could just sell the cloth for $19 and see what happens. So let's take a look and see how Apple's cloth is different from the free cloth. Your free cloth is sort of limp. It's a single layer. It was clearly uh, cut with craft scissors. It's very flimsy. Apple's cloth, on the other hand, feels practically like upholstery. It's a double layer cloth. The two layers are pinched together on the sides here. There's a texture on both sides of the cloth, on both layers, and there is an Apple logo so that you know what you are polishing your stuff with. But of course, the real question is, does it polish? So I brought this old iPhone out because the oleophobic coating on older iPhones is not nearly as good as the one on newer iPhones. In other words, you can see the finger grease much more easily. And of course, here we have the cheap soft cloth. Polish, polish, wax on, wax off. Now I've gotten the grease off the bottom half of the phone with the cheap soft cloth, not much of a problem. Let's try the really expensive one. One thing I notice is that Apple soft cloth is grippier than a cheap soft cloth. It takes a lot more effort to move along the screen. It looks like maybe there was some like adhesive tape residue on there and that makes it clear what this cloth can clean and what it can't. It gets rid of finger grease. It's not gonna deal with the adhesive tape residue. I'm eating Doritos and someone calls me on the phone. Oh no, I've got the Dorito dust. Now I go to answer my phone. Ew, there's a little bit of a Dorito-y smear on my phone now. Apple cloth to the rescue, right? Oh yeah, that screen's beautiful now. Do you really need a $19 soft cloth to clean off a Dorito smear? I re-Doritoed the phone, couple of wipes, and the phone's oleophobic coating really takes care of the situation. It looks like, once again, the free soft cloth worked just as well as Apple's $19 cloth. But now we have a little problem where I have Dorito on my Apple cloth. So now I've gotten Dorito dust all over my $19 soft cloth. How am I gonna clean it off? I certainly don't wanna throw it out. And fortunately, it's not quite dry clean only. Apple says that you should clean the soft cloth by hand washing it with some mild soap and then letting it air dry for 24 hours. So here we are washing off the cloth. Now I almost reached for the first soap I found, but that's some moisturizing hand soap and I don't think I wanna get weird moisturizers on the cloth. So I went and got a little bit of dish soap instead. So here's the deal. You probably shouldn't use a paper towel to clean your phone. They're rough and they're not that good at doing it. A soft cloth is definitely what you want, but you can get perfectly good soft cloths off of Amazon at very low prices, or even as here, free ones from the eyeglass place. You don't need a $19 cloth to clean your phone. The $19 cloth does fine at cleaning your phone, but it's an unnecessary expense.